Hey guys, Mike here and today we're having side by side the HTC Desire X and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Of course, the two aren't exactly competitors as the Samsung is a heavyweight Android smartphone while the HTC is a mid-range handset. But some of you asked me to compare them so here we are. Have a look and don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you like it, your support makes this kind of clips possible. Ok, from starters you'll notice that the HTC is a lot more compact than the Galaxy S3 and that's mainly because it packs a smaller display. It's also lighter and just feels better in hand, more comfortable. And that's not just because it's smaller, that's easier to grab and use with your thumb, but also because to me the HTC just seems more solid built than the Samsung. Now, both of them are made from plastic. The Galaxy S3 also sports a metal rim around the edges, but the glossy plastic back is something I'm not happy with. The HTC is all plastic, just a different kind, made and softer than the one on the Samsung. But that might be just me. The obvious size difference is not just my opinion though, it's there and will be a decisive point for a potential buyer. Turning to the practical side of the two phones, both pack pretty much the same ports and buttons, with power and volume, plus micro USB and the headphone jack on the sides. The layout is just better on the Samsung as the buttons just seem placed where they should be. On the back the two feature cameras with flash and the speakers. In both cases the plastic bottoms are removable and will offer access to the battery, the SIM and the micro SD card slots. As for the front faces, the two feature buttons below the screens with three capacitive ones on the HTC and a physical home button plus another two haptic ones on the Samsung. On top we get the earpiece grills, the light sensors and the HD front camera on the SGS3. Also both feature notification LEDs, but while the one on the Galaxy S3 is big and easy to spot, the one on the HTC is tiny. Turning to the two screens, well there's a 4 inch one with 800 by 480 pixel resolution on the HTC Desire X and a 4.8 inch one with 1280 by 720 pixel resolution on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Of course the larger screen of the Samsung is next to impossible to cover completely with your thumb, but on the other hand the AMOLED panel is superior to the Super LCD one on the HTC. The colors, contrast, brightness, viewing angles and pixel density are all a notch better on the S3. But that doesn't mean that the display on the Desire X is bad, not at all. Of course, there's more about a modern smartphone than meets the eye, so let's dig a little deeper. Harder wise, the Galaxy S3 clearly outmatches the Desire X, offering a faster processor, more capable graphics, more memory and a higher amount of storage space. The benchmarks just display the differences between the two platforms. But you'll also feel that the S3 is snappier while performing everyday tasks no matter how complex the apps or the games you're running are. Now, you'll rarely get any stuttering with the HTC either during daily use, but it will get a bit laggy when pushed. Of course, the UIs on top of Android might have something to say here, with Sense on the Desire X and TouchWiz on the SGS3. All in all, the two handsets offer access to the full Android experience. They can also be used as powerful multimedia devices, but in this case the Galaxy S3 tops the Desire X once more because it's faster and because the larger screen is just awesome for playing games and watching movies. And then there are the cameras. The HTC lacks a front facing one, so we're not even going to talk about this. The stills coming out of the back shooter are better on the SGS3, but the HTC does a decent job too. But when it comes to shooting videos, the Samsung handles 1080p 30 frames per second clips, while the HTC can only record 480p videos. As for battery life, I'd say that the two are overall on par, able to go through the day and even close to two days with light casual use. The Samsung does pack a higher capacity battery, but the larger screen and the faster hardware take their tolls here. Ok, so all the things mentioned above just prove that the Samsung Galaxy S3 is a different kind of smartphone than the HTC Desire X is. We have a heavyweight Android handset in one corner, perhaps one of the best on the market and a mid-range device in the other. However, the HTC sells for around $300 or €250, Euros, while the Samsung is two times more expensive, and this is where things get a bit more even. In the end, it's obvious that if you want a top Android device and can afford it, you should consider the Samsung Galaxy S3. But if you want a more compact and easier to use phone you can get for a lot less money, the HTC Desire X is right now one of your top options, next to handsets like the Galaxy S3 Mini or the Sony Xperia Sola. And with that in mind, it's time to wrap up this clip. Thank you for watching and let me know what do you think about these two devices in the comments down below. 
Also, make sure you share this clip to your friends and subscribe to our channel because your support is extremely important if you want us to keep making such videos in the future. Okay, later.